Hello. This time, we're going to take a tangent line problem. We're going to find the line tangent to the curve y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus th th 4 through the point negative 2 plus 6. We're going to use our formula as illustrated over here on the left in my last uh, uh, illustration. So in this case, remember, we're saying that my pen working here. f of x is the function 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. So we can verify our uh, a equaling negative 2. We can verify that f of negative 2 is 2 times negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus 4, which is to say positive 8 minus 6 plus 4 the result of which, of course, is going to be positive 6. And that means that f of a for our formula is going to be equal to positive 6. OK, uh, the only other one we need, the only other expression we need right here is f of a plus h. In this case, since a is negative 2, we're taking the expression negative 2 plus h to find our formula. So we're going to take uh, x anywhere we see it and replace it with that quantity negative 2 plus h. So that's 2 times the quantity negative 2 plus h squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus h plus 4. So let's go ahead and employ this formula now and set up our limit which will look like this. We're going to be taking a limit as h approaches 0 of 2 times the quantity negative 2 plus h squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus h plus 4. And we're going to be subtracting from that uh, f of a, and that's going to be 6. All this is going to be divided by h. So this is our formula as it would look using this function where a is equal to negative 2. All right, a little bit of algebra again. You would take negative 2 plus h right here, and you're going to square that. Now, I won't do all of the algebra out right here, but I'll show you the result of doing that. Uh, if we square negative 2 plus h, here's what we get. In our numerator, we're going to get 2, and it's going to be times the quantity positive 4, minus 2 times h plus h squared. Also, we're going to take that 3, and we're going to distribute it to uh, the negative 2 plus the h. So we're going to take plus, we're going to get negative 6 plus 3h. We're going to get plus 4, and we're going to get minus 6 over here. All this is divided by h. Next, let's carry out our uh, multiplication. Uh, simplify this expression down a little bit. The limit as h approaches 0 of 2 times 4, that's 8, minus 2 times 2h, that's 4h, plus 2h squared. We got minus 6 plus 3h plus 4, minus 6, all divided by h. OK, it's time to combine things that we can combine and simplify down a little bit if we can. So we're going to do that. Uh, 8 minus 6 is 2, plus 4, that's 6, minus 6 is 0. So all of that goes away. And negative 4h plus 3h is negative 1h. So we're actually left now with this limit, the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1h plus 2h squared divided by h. So following along right here, I'm going to bring this up a little bit so we can see the step. In the numerator, I'm going to factor out h. So I'm going to take the limit as h approaches 0 of h times the quantity, negative 1 plus 2h all divided by h. 
And so we take that limit now after canceling the h's in the numerator and denominator of the fraction. We're going to be taking the limit of negative 1 plus 2 times h. Now as h goes to 0, that's like saying negative 1 plus 2 times 0, or simply negative 1. And so that's our slope. That's what we wanted. So in this example, we're done.